All right, I'm going to do something today that is not typical for my channel. I'm going to be talking about another content creator out there, and I'm going to apologize ahead of time because I'm going to be showing a you know, two or three clips of this person, and they use some foul language, so I'm just going to warn people right now, not exactly a family-friendly video when they, when they come on, but the reason I wanted to talk about this is because I agree that there are many, many things you can criticize Tears of the Kingdom for. Absolutely agree with many criticisms out there. I have my own criticisms, even though it's my favorite game of all time. And I'm not going to get into those criticisms right now. I'm still playing the game, right? I'm not done. But this particular live streamer is going nuts. And some context for this, this live streamer played and beat Breath of the Wild. So they're already familiar or should be familiar with the mechanics from Breath of the Wild. That's going to matter in a moment. And we're talking about something that I, basically we're talking about because it came up on my TikTok feed. We're talking about DSP. Now, if you don't know who DSP is, he's been a live streamer for a long time. He has a very bad reputation online. Let's just say he e-bags a lot. He always acts like at the end of his rope. He's trying to get every little minor dollar he can get out of anybody. Uh, well, I shouldn't really say that because there have been times in the past where he said things like, hey, you donated a dollar and like that wasn't good enough, right? Like if you're not donating you know, 50 bucks, don't talk to me. Dude, I, I swear. He is well known on the internet to be a streamer to not take seriously. I don't even know how he's still able to do this for a living outside of people just watching his streams for the meme factor. But we're talking about this because, one, I find it hilarious. And two, I want to talk about these two clips and where I think he's wrong. He's got many clips out there for Tears of the Kingdom criticizing it over some pretty, pretty basically him being bad at video games reasons. But uh, let's get into this. First clip, after I remind you that we have a giveaway going on right now for a Hylian Shield replica, two copies of the Collector's Edition of Tears of the Kingdom, and two Zelda Switch OLEDs. Go down to the pinned comment or the description, click on the link to enter, and you know what, guys? Thank you so much for being here. We're on a road to 133,000 subscribers. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Let's get into this first clip, and this one deals with lightning. You're kidding me! Riding full speed, the lightning hones in on you and it hits you? You see, this isn't, this isn't fun. I'm sorry. Randomly, a gloom monster appears, takes all of your hell. Oh, you don't have enough stamina to climb something standard at the beginning of the game. Oh, lightning just hones in on you and then kills you. How is this a fun? It's bullshit. So this was the very first clip I saw and that, that went totally viral on TikTok. I think it had over a million views. Absolutely insane. And what I what I find funny about this is there's a couple things he says that, that are incorrect. One, he played Breath of the Wild. So to avoid lightning in Breath of the Wild, we all know you need to take off your metallic gear, weapons, shields, etc. Just remove them and put on non-metallic stuff. Because if you're in the middle of a lightning storm in real life, running around in metal armor holding up metal poles, yeah, you might get hit by lightning. And the game warns you that is targeting you. You can see the warning happening on screen. And this guy played and beat Breath of the Wild. So you can't pretend he wasn't aware of this mechanic from Breath of the Wild, but he does. And I, his complaint was that, not that he wasn't aware of the mechanic, but his complaint was, I was riding my horse at full speed and still got... He hit a rock. Right before the lightning struck, his horse stopped because he ran into a rock. So he wasn't going full speed. This is the thing with DSP, and this is what makes his stream sometimes hilarious to watch, and he, it's because he's serious. He seriously blames game design every time he messes up. It's hilarious. Now, here's another clip where he's complaining about pony points. I don't think so, right? <laughs> Oh my god, another piss that I moved it. 
Go inside this table, talk to a guy at the side counter, exchange pony points for towing harness. Do you see how... Okay, I'm sorry. Gonna criticize the game. Boo-hoo that so many people are fucking fanboys of the game. The game is too complicated. If you want me to do this, just tell me exactly how to do it. Not... Oh, you're supposed to know that if you go inside, you talk to someone, you could exchange pony points to buy a special harness. Then you attach the harness to this, and then you get a horse, and then you can combine the two to do it. No, just do it. Why make it so hard? Why make it so annoying? I have to have a stream audience to tell me how to do it, or else I'll be sitting here messing around, wasting my goddamn time. No, I don't want to do that, Nintendo. It's 2023. People want to play your fucking games, not Ooh. dick around for endless Ooh. hours. So let people play the fucking game. Why you have to make everything so complicated, man? It pisses me off they think that this is fucking modern gameplay. It's not. It's shitty. I don't want to waste time on this shit. Alright, I guess over here is where you do the pony points? Oh. No. Mm. How do I trade in pony points? I don't even know where you do that. Where do you do pony points? This is fucking ridiculous. I'm starting to really get angry that they... They're, again, it's... What it is is... Nintendo thinks they can do everything differently. Right? Everything must be completely different. Can't just do a normal thing like everyone else on the planet. Instead, it's gotta... Everything's gotta be annoying. Oh. No, this is the Gazette. That's not it. Now I knocked over the vendor on his ass. I don't even get it. I talked to him. It didn't work. Ooh. Oh. What, this? Receive a reward. Yeah. This is annoying. Mm. Oh. Oh, he gave it to me for free. Oh. Oh. A horse god fabric. Mm. Oh. Ooh. I got an additional horse for two more points. Okay. So wait, I have the harness? How do I use it? He says I have it, but how do I use the harness? How do I build the harness now? You're serious. Now I have to talk to the stable guy from the front of the counter and he'll allow you to equip the harness. What? Dude, are you kidding me? This is a modern game. Talk to the same guy 14 different angles at the front counter. How the fuck would I know this? Now, for those unaware, pony points are a new thing in Tears of the Kingdom to allow you to gain certain benefits for your horse and at the stables, right? There's, there's just a bunch of stuff you get, and you can get them for various things. Sometimes it's just, you get them for doing quests that are around or at the stable, right? There'll be... People who work at the stable, you can do side quests for. They'll give you pony points. You also get pony points for registering horses. So in order to even import your horses from Breath of the Wild, you still would have to talk to the stable master just like you would in, t in Breath of the Wild. So here's the funny thing. He's sitting here. What do you mean? What do you mean? Po what are pony points? Why do I? What? what you know, oh, they see. Nintendo makes me waste 20 minutes. No. The first time you talk to the stable master to register a horse, he tells you about pony points and points exactly where to go to turn them in and tells you exactly what you need them for. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are we, what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> what are we talking? See, this is the problem. He's live streaming the game. He's not reading the text boxes. He's rushing through things and then blaming the game for the way that it works. It's look, guys, I, I I can't even be frustrated by it because the idiocy or the idiocy in the actions is just so apparent. Look, I, I don't know DSP. I've never talked to the guy. I've got no reason to talk to DSP, but I, I just can't believe. Some of the stuff that comes out of this guy's mouth in a very serious manner in his complaints about Tears of the Kingdom, it's fine if you don't think Tears of the Kingdom is a perfect game and has a bunch of flaws. Every game has flaws. But you, when the flaws you're complaining about are your own idiocy with gameplay because you didn't pay attention when the game told you how to do something, it's just... Ugh. And then blaming the lightning mechanic, saying you were going full speed when you weren't going full speed for starters... And on top of that, you knew about this mechanic from Breath of the Wild. 
There's a bunch of other clips out there as well. There's one where it's hilarious. He's he's fighting a level three flux construct, and he can't figure out what to do. How am I supposed to damage this thing? And not at any point does he even attempt slow motion arrows. And then when he finally does damage on it, he says, oh, man, this would take me an hour, even if I did everything perfectly. Meanwhile, when he did damage it one time, he actually took down like an eighth of its health. And if he just rinse and repeats that, he would be done with this enemy in like 10 minutes, not even. But... It's it's hilarious watching people who are bad at games blame the game sometimes. Like there are legitimately hard video games out there. And while Tears of the Kingdom is more difficult than Breath of the Wild, my 10-year-old son beat a Flux 3 construct. Apparently that's not possible because DSP said this. What's funny you say it's a kid's game. Dude, dude, this one is definitely not a fucking kid's game. This is not a, ch a children's Zelda at all. There's no way you can even consider it a children's Zelda. Just the complexities of the things you need to do in the game. This is 1 million percent a game for adults. Tell me how a little kid's going to beat this fucking game. No kid is going to beat this shit. So, I'm just throwing out there that sometimes you're just bad at games. And it's okay to admit when you're bad. And it's okay to admit when you don't understand the mechanics. And it's okay to admit that maybe you didn't read all the text boxes and the tutorials that were telling you how to do things. But remember, it's always the game's fault and the game developer's fault and Nintendo's fault. All right, I hope you enjoyed what I hope is an entertaining video. You guys are awesome, and I'll catch you in the next one.